Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am back with another interesting topic in the Tosca automation playlist. So continuing with our topic on the test automation obstacles, let's look at the next automation obstacle, which is called the to-do list. And here we have got two tables. One is the to-do tasks and one is the completed tasks. Now the challenge here is we need to drag and drop each row from these to-do tasks into the completed tasks in a certain order, okay? So we need to drag uh, in the numerical order. So we'll first drag the first task, then uh, the second one, and then the third one, okay? And then the fourth one, and then the fifth, and then the sixth, okay? And then the obstacle will be completed. So that's what you need to do using Tosca. Now we have already seen how we can drag and drop elements. Okay, so we can use that in the table also. We can drag and drop the rows, but here uh, we need to do this a uh, number of times, as you can see, six times, right? And in a certain order. So that's the challenge here, right? So let's see how we can do this in Tosca. So first of all, we need to scan uh, our page. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to scan the application now. And basically we need to scan uh, the two tables which uh, we'll be working on, right? So here, if I scan this page, you can see these two tables, the to-do task and the completed tasks. Okay, so these are the two tables which I need to scan. So let me rename this module to this particular obstacle. And I am going to do it right here, okay? And then I'm going to save this and close the module, right? So our module is created here with both the tables. And now let's go back to our test case folder. And here we are going to create a new test case, again with the same obstacle uh, number, okay? And here we are then going to use our module which we have scanned earlier, right? So uh, once you drag this module here, so what we need to do is uh, we need to drag each row from the to-do task table to the completed task table, right? But before we do that, we also need to use another uh, functionality here or another feature, which is called the repetition property, right? So that uh, we need to do for our table, right? And in order to do that, uh, we need to create a folder. Okay, so I'm going to create a folder inside my test case. And uh, we are going to rename this, okay? So we'll re rename this to repetition, okay? And then uh, we are going to drag our test step inside this. Now what this will do is it will basically repeat it uh, the number of times which uh, we will uh, define for this particular folder, right? And as you know, we have to repeat our drag and drop step six times. So I'm going to set this repetition to six, okay? So that's what uh, you need to do. And then uh, this particular test step will be executed six times, okay? Now, if we go inside the table uh, and we'll look at this page, you can see that uh, we need to drag according to the ID, right? So we need to drag the first uh, task, which has got ID one, and then the second task, which has got the ID two. So we need to work around this ID column, right? So what we'll do, uh, we'll go to the column and we'll select the ID here, okay? And then in the cell value, uh, we are going to put something called repetition, okay? So this is an expression which returns you the value of the repetition property. Okay, so whatever repetition uh, value is being set here, uh, which means if uh, we are running this for the first time, the repetition property value or the repetition expression value would be one and then two, then three. Like that, it will keep on changing this particular value of the cell, right? So uh, that will decide the ID, which will be one, two, three, four, five, six. And that is what we want, right? We want to drag um, each task with a different ID each time, right? 
now um, in the value uh, again we will put the drag operation here because we want to drag this particular row with this particular id and we will change the action mode to input okay now once that is done we just need to drop it into the completed task table right so here we can use the drop expression okay uh, we don't need to select any row and column because we just want to drag it into the table right so now this will be repeated uh, six times because we have set the property to six for the repetition folder and then it will get this particular value of repetition and uh, it will select the id based on that okay and then it will drag it and drop it into the completed tasks so let's see if it works or not but this is how we can uh, complete this particular obstacle okay so let's run this in Scratchbook. So as you can see, it has started dragging the first row and then dropped it into the completed task table. It will do it for each of the tasks based on the ID. So this is running on a repetition six times and it will drag and drop all the six rows, right? Okay, and you can see uh, the obstacle was successfully completed, right? So this is how you can drag and drop uh, rows from a table and drop it into another table. And then using the repetition property, you can put your test steps inside a folder and then you can select uh, some unique column like the ID, which has got the numbers one to six. So you can put the repetition property value inside that so that uh, these tasks are dragged and dropped in a certain order. That's all for this particular video. If you have any questions, then please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.